Indiana has yet to shut down the state's daycare and child care facilities, a relief for some parents. RTV6's Cameron Riddle takes you to one daycare that is closing its doors for now to be there for families as this crisis continues. As the coronavirus continues to spread, hand sanitizing is the first step when you enter the Reach to Teach daycare. Every 30 minutes, uh, we have a timer that goes off, which indicates the adults and the students to wash our hands and also sanitize all the knobs and the railings of the fences. And like clockwork, it's time to sterilize. Time to wash our hands. Keisha Davis and her staff at the Reach to Teach daycare are taking coronavirus seriously. Just because the safety of our children, if it wasn't for our kids, um, and our parents, we wouldn't be in business. The daycare, located on the city's west side, stayed open a week longer than the schools in Marion County. But Davis made the call to shut down for now to provide a safer place for kids in the weeks ahead. Tomorrow will be our last day of opening for at least a week or two, just so we can sanitize everything. We'll get new playpens, new high chairs. My crew and I, we're gonna come in, sanitize the whole daycare from up to down, and just get ready for the kids to come back in two weeks. The decision to close comes as the confirmed cases of coronavirus in Indiana tops 50, and as the governor extends school closures into May. Davis is hoping the doors aren't closed for too long as parents with school-age kids have showed their gratitude for a safe place to send them. Our parents really appreciate us staying open for this extra week because we do have a lot of after-school kids, so they've been coming full-time and um, they really appreciate that. Working for you on the West Side, Cameron Ruddle, RTV6. Thanks, Cameron. And Indiana's Family and Social Services Administration has been advising child care facilities when it comes to cleaning and sanitation, the administration facility should stay open unless one of its kids tests positive for the coronavirus.